Welcome fellow artists to Lyricology 101. I still don't have my channel back yet, but we're here, we're back again, and we're here with my man No Set Mugen with his track Craving the Hunter. This is a bar for bar reaction, not a bar for bar breakdown. Those are two different things. But for this one, I think you guys will like this one. There's just, there's a lot of layers in this one, a lot of depth in this one. It's kind of dark, kind of brooding, but there are layers here. So with the track Craving the Hunter, uh, I just wanted to initialize like this idea that when you start the track, it's kind of like, I would say maybe a bar off like like what you'll he'll he'll open with a bar and then the beat's gonna drop so you'll see I'll, I'll do a visual cue and it's kind of a like a, a slanted awkward beat you know what i'm saying but this shit hit though all right so let's get started let's get the ball rolling hope you're having a good one let's go so dark that i'm scary to a night owl all right, so you see how I drop? I'll run it back again so you can hear it, because it's, it's like it's like an awkward drop at the beginning, right? You'll hear it. It's like there's no warning, too. So dark that I'm scary to a night owl. So dark they don't even want to fly around. Fighting when I come around like a dreadnought. Got a destiny, but no dreadnought. All right, so... You know how we do we're going to open up with the rhymes if you guys don't know how it works uh rhymes are in color and then flows and cadences are bracketed in that gray if it's in gray then that that just means the rhythm came together or it's like a consistent flow and it stays together so a perfect example is when he starts um so dark that i'm scared to a night owl so dark they don't even want to fly around fighting when I come around, right? So that's a seven syllable swing and they're matched evenly. They're not rhymed all the way through, but but the way he says them are matched perfectly syllable wise. Um, his end rhyme, we, we're going with the owl sound. Uh, it's just an owl round and round again. I, I kind of don't want to count repeated rhymes, but you know, he has visual concepts that he's doing. Um, he's more of a visualizer. I feel like he's more of a puncher and he's more into layers than rhyming. So um, scary to a night owl, fly around, Fight him when I come around like a dreadnought. Got got a destiny, but no dreadnought. So he's gonna just swing off of that eh and that ah sound. So eh ah got a destiny, but no eh ah man I eh ah. Do some internals with rap circles round. That's a dreadlock. So matching with rap and that uh, circles round. That's a dreadlock. Jin broke the bottle. Take a headshot. So the the internals are 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 very quick, quick and sharp. It's not big sheeted rhymes, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let's run it back though. I, I wanna I wanna like break it down as we go. Let's go. So dark that I'm scary to a night owl. So dark they don't even wanna fly around. Fighting when I come around. Alright, so so dark that I'm scary to a night owl. The track is called Craving the Hunter, right? So my mind immediately went into the concept of Marvel and I was thinking, okay, owl, owl from uh the villain owl from Spider-Man and Daredevil. Um, I thought he was scary to the villain owl, right? Uh, there's also a night owl on the DC side uh, from Watchmen, but I, I'm not entirely sure if he was referencing that. Also, a night owl is somebody that's up all the time, that's up all the time in the night. So he's so dark, he scares people that stay up in the dark. Also, an actual night owl, which is a vicious predator, he's so dark that he scares a vicious night predator. So dark that they don't even want to fly around to do what they usually do. So I really like how he pulled that together. Fight him when I come around like a dreadnought, right? So a dreadnought is a warship, right? And then got a destiny, but no dreadnought, right? Destiny is the video game. Uh, it's like a, a, you know, PlayStation 4 game or something like that. So destiny, um, I think dreadnought is either a location, like a destination that you could actually go. So got a destiny, but no dreadnought, right? So uh, the destiny is in reference to the game, but also a destiny is where he's trying to get to. And the dreadnought either are an enemy or or it's a location of some kind i haven't played the game but that's the connection there man i dread not right so he's not afraid of the dreadnought he's not afraid of anything because he's fighting like a dreadnought we get three different contexts for dreadnought i think there actually be a fourth interpretation because the following line is wrap circles round that's a headlock right so if he said man i dread not He's saying he doesn't dread as in fear, but then the next line is in reference to dreading your hair. So, man, I dread not wrap circles round. That's a head lock, right? So you could put somebody in a head lock while you're holding it down, but also the locks come from your head. So, yeah, a lot of these inter like these 
these place layers or, or, or internal layers, if you will. So let's run it all the way back and just hear it through. So dark that I'm scared to a night owl. So dark they don't even wanna fly around. Fighting when I come around like a dreadnought. Got a destiny, but no dreadnought. Man, I dreadnought. Wrap circles round, that's a headlock. Jim broke the bottle, take a headshot, but no dead shot. Straight sharpshooter, I get headshots. Alright, alright, so peep game. Alright, alright, so uh that's a headlock. Jin broke the bottle, take a head shot, but no dead shot, right? So if the Jin broke the bottle, a Jin is a genie. So if the Jin broke the bottle, what, what does the bottle have to do with anything, right? He's a genie in a bottle, right? So a genie in the bottle, he broke out of the bottle, take a head shot. Look at me. I'm, I'm fabulous, right? You take a look at him. You see the genius. You see the genie. Take a picture of him, but no dead shot, right? So take a head shot, which makes you think of a gun, right? but no dead shot, right? So no, he's not referencing take, shooting with a gun. He's referencing taking a headshot like a picture. But then he flips it on his head, but no dead shot, straight sharpshooter, I get headshots. So just like dead shot, he references being a straight sharpshooter and he gets headshots. So we get multiple plays off of head and headshot. Very clever, man. I, I like how well he's able to mix his visuals. As far as his structure, it's everywhere. What the fuck, man? I, I I don't know. The structure to me, I'm fighting it. All right. So like a dreadnought, he's going to anchor himself on this four syllable scheme or this four syllable rhythm rather like a dreadnought, but no dreadnought, man, I dreadnought wrap circles round. That's a headlock. Those are all four syllable swings. Take a headshot, but no dead shot. Straight sharpshooter, I get headshots. So he's anchored on those four syllables and he's just bouncing around with it. The rest of the words to me just kind of set you up for the rest of the flow and that's how it sounds. I'm gonna run it all the way back and we're gonna keep going. So dark that I'm scary to a night owl. So dark they don't even wanna fly around. Fighting when I come around like a dreadnought. Got a destiny, but no dreadnought. Man, I dreadnought. Wrap circles round, that's a headlock. Jim broke the bottle, take a headshot, but no dead shot. Straight sharpshooter, I get headshots. Clay pitches, best to fly away. Man, I'm fire clay. Shots. All right, so let's start from here. We're going to run it through and we're going to go through the rhymes, all right? I, I think as far as his visual imagery, it it's great. I like his visual imagery. I get headshots, clay pitches, best to fly away. Man, I'm fire clay, mason close to pyromaniacs will claim they fire clay. When I fire clay, man, I dominate just like Cassius Clay. Harry Potter to a potter's clay, manifest the great ceramic of a greater feat. Man, I'm Lincoln Clay. All right, so once again, just his structure is different, right? But I broke it down. I broke his structure down. We going I mean, the rhymes matter, right? But he's not, to me, he's not a rhymer. He he's more of a like he's he's about cadences and visualization, right? So um, you know, Clay, we got the A sound. He's gonna just dance around this A sound all the way through. Clay pigeons, best to fly away. Man, I'm fire. Clay, Mation, close to pyro, maniacs will claim their fire clay when I fire clay. Man, I dominate just like Cassius clay. <laughs> Harry Potter to a potter's clay. So, of course, he's going off of clay multiple times, right? I, I, some of the homies wouldn't count these as rhymes. I just say that they match well for the cadence and the rhythm that he's playing with. But the main rhythm he has is a five syllable swing, right? Best to fly away. That's five syllables, right? So he's going to anchor himself to this shit for like most of the rest of the flow. So it's best to fly away, man, I'm fire clay. And you see he's, 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 um, he's kind of like, this is a tactic I see M do where he's just like squeezing together phrasing between the bar line, right? So man, I'm fire clay, mation close to pyro main, claim their fire clay, uh, when I fire clay, man, I dominate just like Cassius clay, Harry Potter to a potter's clay. That's five syllables to a potter's clay manifest the great of a greater feat, man. I'm Lincoln clay. So all of those are five syllables and he's just dancing around it. But the syllables aren't like anchored into each other. You know, they're just everywhere. But he's got his rhymes there and he's pairing everything so well. It looks good, man. It's just the way he structures it is wild. Um, so, yeah, a lot of plays off of the A sound. Uh, he has some, uh, the S is matched to the previous rhymes before, uh, with headshots and everything. Deadshot, headshot, clay pigeons, best to fly away, right? Really good. 
Um, and then just some small internals with close to pyromania. So close to pyromaniacs will claim their fire clay. We got the eye. Uh, we're still dancing on the eye sound too. fly. I'm fire, fire clay. All those. Those are really good. Just like Cassius clay. Really good. Um, and then he's done some internals with man ceramic. Right. Oh, yeah. There. Man. He's doing a two syllable uh, bounce. And I have to keep that. So man ceramic. And then Manum, right? He, he's been in those as well. Later on, he's going to match Bunyan, Lumber, and Cuzza. And it's not, it's just the way he's doing the flow. It's going to land. It's going to work. Uh, you'll hear it in a sec. It's just, it was like I was fighting him on the rhymes. But his cadence, on, po on point. Cadence is nice. Cadence, cadence is locked down. It's just the rhymes are everywhere. Shots, clay pigeons, best to fly away. Man, no fire clay. All right, so clay pigeons best to fly away he just did the sharp shot run right so he's a straight shooter he's he just did a sharp shot play or not sharp shot damn it dead shot he did a, sh a dead shot play uh the sharpshooter play to clay pigeons best to fly away right clay pigeons are what you use for skeet shooting right uh yeah like if you if you if you uh just like uh skeet shooting my bad from skeet shooting clay pigeons are from ski uh skeet shooting so clay pigeons best to fly away but also he's saying fake pigeons as well like fake dudes need to get out of here so fake clay pigeons best to fly away man i'm fire clay mation so he's fire then he breaks it right but if you didn't see the bars you wouldn't you wouldn't connect that dot right so man i'm fire clay mation close to pyromaniacs that to me doesn't work flow wise right so he, he kind of he cheats on this one right so uh, clay pigeons best to fly away man i'm fire clay mation close to pyromaniacs will claim their fire clay um to me i just yeah rhythm wise I'm, i'll get off the rhythm but yeah so he's fire and if he's fire clay mation close to pyromaniacs who claim their fire clay right so if you're clay mation and you're close to a pyromaniac right <laughs> and he's the fire right then he's burning the clay right uh he's burning those that claim to be fire clay which is a hard and rare clay right so he's claiming to be the fire that's burning and melting the clay so clay pigeons best to fly away man i'm fire clay mation close to pyromaniacs will claim their fire clay when i fire clay which is when he puts it on fire when i fire clay man i dominate just like cash is clay right so he's gonna fire on them just like um muhammad ali He's going to beat their ass. Harry Potter to a potter's clay. So he's a magician to the potter's clay. Manifest the great ceramic of a greater feat. So ceramic is another form of clay. So man, I'm Lincoln clay. So he's linking all these plays on clay, right? But Lincoln clay is not associated with clay in any way. He's just playing off of the clay name. So we have Lincoln clay, um, ceramic in relation to clay, potter's clay, cash is clay, fire clay, fire claymation and fire clay so he he did every way he could think of at that time shit is fire it works it works for me uh he pulled it off <laughs> um but the lincoln clay one though that's what i'm looking at so manifest the great ceramic of a greater feat man i'm lincoln clay so lincoln clay uh, i i think he's from mafia right he's from mafia three uh, he was the lead for Mafia 3. I never played any of the Mafia games, so I, I don't know Lincoln Clay's role, but he's he's probably a badass gangster that kills people, right? Um, so yeah, man, I'm Lincoln Clay. And let my man spit. I, I'll, I'll run here and I'll go. Clay pitches best to fly away. Man, no fire clay. Mason close to pyromaniacs with clay and they fire clay. When I fire clay, man, I dominate just like cash is clay. Harry Potter to a potter's clay. Manifest a great ceramic of a greater feat. Man, I'm Lincoln Clay. Paw on you when I swing it like a lumber dog. Really like Jack the Ripper because a black face makes a perfect menace. All right, so. All right, so you saw how he did it. Paul Bunyan when I'm swinging like a lumber gnaw, right? And and here's a cool trick he did though, right? Paul Bunyan lumber gnaw. So he 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 did Paul Bunyan and then rhymed Paul Bunyan backwards. Hey, all right, that ain't, that ain't bad. <laughs> Paul Bunyan gnaw lumber, right? So uh, really good, really cool. So Paul Bunyan when I'm swinging like a lumber gnaw, really like Jack the Ripper because a black face makes a perfect menace. This from Paul Bunyan all the way to the end. I, I don't know where what where's the, what <laughs> flow wise I fought him right um but where he anchors his flow is Jack the Ripper because a black face makes a perfect menace right uh which is four syllables um so that worked at the end but man from here to like here that I was just like where's the flow where are we going where where's the flow at 
Um, but given the nature of this beat and just the style of the song, I, I'm, I, the dissonance is fine because he's being a dark, scary thing. So yeah, Paul Bunyan, Paul Bunyan when I'm swinging like a lumbernaw, really like Jack the Ripper. So the connection is uh, Paul Bunyan lumberjack, right? So Paul Bunyan when I'm swinging like a lumber and then he cancels it and goes really like Jack the Ripper. So not a lumberjack, but a Jack the Ripper. So a lumberjack the Ripper, if he if he was doing that visual. Um, so Paul Bunyan when I'm swinging like a lumber uh nah i really like jack the ripper because a black face makes a perfect menace and the jack the ripper comes from paul bunyan having an axe and cutting something down right so jack the ripper would also be cutting and killing things down as well it works well it connects it works so when i'm swinging like a lumber no i really like jack the ripper because a black face makes a perfect menace it goes back to this that dark concept that he's the super dark dude that you're hearing in the song reminiscent of like earl and, and early off future stuff but yeah, so when I'm swinging like a lumber all. So he he matched Lincoln Clay. He he matched Lincoln with swinging, and I thought that works. Um, and then the Bunyan, Lumber, and Cuzza are matching, but they're not rhythmically matched. You know what I'm saying? It's just rhymes that work. Um, but the visual is there, man. So really like Jack the Ripper because a black face makes a perfect menace, right? And the perfect menace is this guy, Craven the Hunter, slicing people up, killing people. He's too dark, too scary for a night out. You feel me? So yeah, as far as what my man's doing he's got he's got he's got it man he's doing some stuff it's just i feel like his rhyming could be better and and maybe even anchoring to the instrumental and, and the beat and 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 living in there would work better but let's run it back clay pitches best to fly away men on fire clay mason close to pyromaniacs with clay and they fire clay when i fire clay men i dominate just like cash is clay harry potter to a potter's clay manifest a great ceramic of a greater feat Man, I'm Lincoln Clay. Paul Bunyan when I'm swinging like a lumber dog. Really like Jack the Ripper because a black face makes a perfect menace. Too dark, too scary for a night owl. So scary they don't even want to fly around. Too dark, too scary for a night owl. Too dark they don't even want to fly. out with the instrumental man so yeah uh pretty solid man as far as the reaction goes man he, he, he's got bars and places in the right spots uh flow wise maybe cadence wise we could work on it I, I feel like there's there's some some areas you know he can improve um you know would i run this one back honestly i wouldn't because it's just not it's not my flavor right now it's a bit dark it's a bit heavy um, as a general, I like to give multiple perspectives. So from a general listener's perspective, um, just the low pitch tone and all that, uh, I don't know how long I would even listen to it on top of the idea of actually wanting to interpret what he's saying. Um, from a, like a hip hop heads perspective, I just feel like the, the breaking the bar line so much was getting on, like it was getting to me. I feel like there's, he has bracketed cadences and rhythms and flows, but it almost didn't feel affiliated with the instrumental. And to me, I like that instrument. I'll do some work on it. You know what I'm saying? So um, something about that that caught my attention. But yeah, as far as this is concerned, you know, cool song, dope reaction. I hope you're doing good, man. Uh, thank you for the track, man. Craving the Hunter, man. Interesting. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, man. If you guys are interested in getting your song broken down in a similar fashion, hit your boy up at uh, Lyricology101, mail at gmail.com. Please add the mail. Uh, let me know you want your song broken down in any fashion. And uh, we could work it out. We have some options for you. Um, if you're, if you just want some, uh, if you want one-on-one -on -one consultations, we're still doing one-on-one -on -one consultations. Um, if you still need help with uh, writing your songs, we're still doing that as well. Anything of that nature, it's all good. And if you guys are looking for certain songs for me to break down, you could do the same thing. You could just hit me up and say, "I just want to see you break down this song," you know, and uh, I'll get to work on it, you know. Um, so if you're interested, just hit me up. Uh, much love to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And if you like what we're doing here at Lyricology 101, please share. This has been Lyricology 101. I'm Andre Gaynor. And don't forget, I'm a night owl. <laughs> don't forget what art is. Much love. <laughs> Peace.